Hi, I'm Shane with the Drum Center of Portsmouth in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We are on the web at drumcenternh.com. We are the largest independent drum store in the world, and every drum you see demonstrated on this video today will be available for purchase in the links below. Today we're featuring a brand new line from Sonar. These are the compressor series of snare drums. As we know it, the modern metal snare drum was born from Sonar. There was a gentleman named Tom Mills back in the early 1900s playing a brass German-made snare drum that William Ludwig I heard at a performance and he hounded him to get that drum and he brought it to Ulysses Leedy, asking Leedy to manufacture metal snare drums, and they were not interested in that. They only wanted to make wood snare drums. So Ludwig said, okay, well, we're going to make metal snare drums. And that was the start of that. And it became the Universal and the Deluxe and what we know as the Black Beauty. And well, now we see metal snare drums everywhere. And we have Sonar to thank for that. Sonar has made magnificent snare drums over the years. When we think about some of these drums, the uh, Faro Manganese, the Signature Series, these drums still perform today. They're incredible, they're collectible, they're wonderful. They're expensive. Oh my God! They still make these wonderful drums that are very, very expensive. They wanted to create a high performance drum uh, that isn't going to cost as much as the others without sacrificing quality. And they did that with these compressor series snare drums. What makes these special is that the shells are all undersized, just like their wood shells. Having an undersized shell has been their hallmark for years. It allows the head to float over the bearing edge and so that the hoop of the head doesn't really hug the shell. It allows it to give a tympanic effect and allows for really precise, graceful notes, even at the most delicate of hits. Now, if you play rim shots at all, I do constantly, that has a tendency to knock drums out of tune. And the one thing I have found on thinner metal snare drums is that they don't tend to stay in tune very well when I play the way I do. And if I'm on a session or if I'm playing live, I really don't want to mess around with that. I need something that's gonna stay in tune. The TuneSafe system is a Delrin insert that we see on the inside of the swivel nut of the lug. So when the tension rod goes into that swivel nut, it's sticky there with that Delrin and that prevents the tension rods from backing out so easily. They put 2.3 millimeter hoops, which are just perfect on these, premium snare wires and Remo USA drum heads. So this drum is just ready to go right out of the box. The compressor line is comprised of eight different drums. We've got a great size spread over three different shells. We'll start with my favorite, the steel. There's something about the crispiness and the cut of steel that just appeals to my ears. And this one is no different. It's also great because it's the lowest price one of all of the drums, so always helps to save a few bucks too. Why not?
the brass drum, this is a, a real special one. I think this is gonna be the one people are really most excited about. This has a slightly thicker 1.2 millimeter shell, has a lot of body, has a lot of character. Really, really nice. This drum is uh, available in three sizes.
The aluminum drum is really, really cool too. Now, this isn't like your standard seamless aluminum drum. This is a two millimeter, so a slightly thicker seamless aluminum, and it even offers a 14 by eight, which is something that uh, we don't really see these days uh, from anybody that I can think of. And uh, that's the drum that you see right here. Really just gorgeous.
The symbols that we're featuring today are from Sabian. These are the HHX Complex. We have the 22 inch thin ride and the big cup hats, 15 inch. And we are playing a SQ2 bass drum. This is an African marble 22 and an African marble floor tom. Don't ask me to shell, I have no idea. Vintage maple. It's vintage maple. This is a vintage maple shell. I suspect there's going to be a lot of you that uh, are going to have a lot of feedback and we really want to hear that in the comments below. Which drum did you like? Which drum did you not like? Is there one that you want to make yours? We would love to know. Please let us know in the comments below. And while I'm here, allow me to remind you, please subscribe to our channel and click that bell so that you get notified when we post new videos like this. If you want to buy any of these drums, the links are right there in the description below. And Thanks again for watching and we do appreciate your support.